to come home to his kids or me, his grandmama, or his mother. She done lost two children. A mother's heartbreak, her two sons shot and killed in less than two years. One son gunned down just hours before Mother's Day. And tonight, the mother and grandmother share their fear for their family with Fox 13 Zero Jordan. Kayvon and Styron Ford were both shot and killed in South Memphis. Styron was coming to see his... You ain't never smashed none of these jokes before, um, Nick Tell? Oh, yo, Dark Buzz love me, bro. Yeah, yeah you know, was... Yeah. yeah, man, I smashed a bunch of these joints, man. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, I done, I done cracked me some dark, bro. I, look, I, I said preference, but I get one of these dark, but I'm tearing that thing up, bro. <laughs> I love you, a quick little dark, but got that protruding buttocks, bro. Grab all on that drink. Kayvon and Styron Ford were both shot and killed in South Memphis. Styron was coming to see his grandma until he was gunned down right here in their next door neighbor's driveway. Now, I was able to sit down with the victim's mother and she described to me her heartache and pain. It still feel like a dream. They took both of my kids. The victim mother got on some goddamn put some shit, some Joe J's. God damn. She rocking the J's, man. What do that say, man? What do y'all? What does this say to y'all, man? Uh, I mean, Jordan, Jordan's is the culture, man. Like that shit is cultural, bro. Yeah, it it, it just I think it, I think it says she's a young she's a younger mom. Or younger oh, yeah. mentality, mom. Younger mentality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like that's her right there. Yeah, she in the she. she he got, he got a shirt to say kilo. They 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 them dudes in the streets, man. Her sons was in them streets. Probably. They was out there. These ain't like just like boys that was walking to the library and got hit with a stray. Still feel like a dream. They took both of my kids. <laughs> Through the words of this mother, you can hear her pain. He has the baby on the way. He was not even that type of kid to be out here like that. The mother says she says he wasn't even that type of kid to be out here like that. I, they I say that, he, yeah. They they say that from what they like. Every mom's. You'll be surprised what moms know and what they don't know. Like, moms know, okay, I keep getting called up to school for parent-teacher conferences and shit. Um, I keep having to bail this kid out. Um, he calling me from jail to bail him out. But they don't know, like, that her son, like, shooting at somebody or they he in a war. They don't know that shit. But they know, yeah. you know, they know what's going on. They know, they know this son is out yeah, there. They, they know you be hanging out, but they don't know like the depths of, of shit that's really going on out here, bro. Yeah. Motherfuckers is she was cars and, and too upset to be on camera. Yeah. Motherfucker. And then and then plus you can you you gonna tell your mother you ain't do it. You got framed. Yep. It wasn't me. Uh I got set up. That's what I used to tell my mother all the time. I would always like tell her it was like the other person, like if I got bagged with somebody else. It was them. It was them. Yeah, stuff. wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. And, and 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 mothers want to believe that, bro. They they because they love you, bro. You came out of them out of their body, bro. Unless they're yeah. just like a, a a villain, bro. She she want to perceive you in the best possible way, bro. Unless you show her otherwise, bro. She so, wants to believe that. Yeah, that's she true. She, believe, that's, she desperately wants to believe you, bro. Yep. She says her 20-year-old son, Styron Ford, was shot and killed right in front of his grandmother's home on East Mallory Street just after 5.30 Saturday evening. But less than two years ago, Styron's older brother, Kayvon, was also gunned down at a convenience. Yeah, they was out there, man. Yeah, both of them. It's like, come on, bro. 
Yeah, they was out there. They was in they was in them streets or they was they was moving around. They was they was, was off the porch. Yeah, yeah they, they, they was the, definitely, man. The brother Kayvon was also gunned down at a convenience store in South Memphis. To lose your grandson the day before Mother's Day. It couldn't be a great mother day. We told you before, Taewon Bradford was indicted for first degree murder for the death of Kayvon Ford and posted a $75,000 bond. Court records show Bradford has a violent criminal history, included. This motherfucker killed that boy and got out for $7,500. Mm. Taewon killed uh, Kayvon, uh, whatever the fuck his name was. Yeah, whatever the fuck his name was. But yeah, this is, this is, this is, and listen, that wasn't, let's see, in, in a glider world, who I say this stuff wasn't made for sons of mine. In a glider world, the murder happens for like something. It's, it's a, it's a, it happens and you can allow the person to go back into society because he's just going to go to work the next day or he's going to be terrified of trying to get his legal team together or he's going to be trying to like you know what i'm saying tie his loose ends up before he goes to you know um, thinking he may go to prison or something this son man gonna get out and he gonna fucking be active he's still he gonna be shooting shit up when he gets out and people gonna be looking for him for what he did he gonna be out in the street running and gunning wall out on bond and i don't think that gliders when they invented bond or bail i don't think they had that in mind i think they yeah. had in mind like you know uh, two guys getting a fight at a bar and it's one of them gets killed and then the guy you know what i'm saying it's like all right man well you know, we'll let you out. This is a mystery. We don't really know what happened, whether it was your fault or his fault, but we'll let you out and uh, we'll settle in court in three months. Yeah, it's like a, it's more <laughs> of like an isolated incident. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, With sons, this is like a life, it's a community a of lifestyle, people yeah. that are living this lifestyle, bro. And you're releasing them back amongst themselves, bro. Also, I this think they care totally more about money. The gliders, like that, that was the whole purpose of the bond <laughs> to keep mm. you there so you wouldn't lose the money, right? Yeah, yeah. These he, he he's not, yeah. Some people don't care about that. The money is just, it's like, it, it's just like all money, it just grows on trees. Or it, it, we, we have a different relationship to money, too. Like, you know, what I'm saying, we don't understand that it like comes from a reserve and there's like a you know, <laughs> it's yeah, like, I, I I often wonder uh, the uh, the bail bondsmen like how they're making money off of this because I mean even if you did catch the guy, they take like, the house. He, they how, put a lien on the house. They put a lien they, on the house. But, like, but they don't have any any property. You know what I'm saying? Like the mother will the a lot of mothers. I know a lot of dudes mothers who put their house up. As collateral for a bond, man, and the nigga, um, and the nigga didn't um turn himself in when, uh, or he went on the run, or he committed another crime like the next week. I've I've seen that so many times, man, and the and the mother put her house up for that shit. Some men are some men are turds, man. Yeah, especially when they they're in the streets, they don't care. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just that yeah, they don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy that will murder that. somebody. If you'll murder somebody in broad daylight, man, you know, so while you're out on bond for another violent crime, yeah, they're, you're they're not future. gonna care that your mother put her house up for your for your for your bond. Yeah, the future has nothing to do with building wealth. It has more to do with getting it and spending it on dumb shit right away. <laughs> so, making yeah, other some people jealous. You, yeah. Our goal is with money is to make other sun people jealous. Yeah. Sad. Before, Taewon Bradford was indicted for first-degree murder for the death of Kayvon Ford and posted a $75,000 bond. Court records show Bradford has a violent criminal history, included aggravated assault. Ford says the court system has failed her family. We're scared, keep giving these killers a slap on the wrist. 
we're going to continue to have these murders out here. No answers and no justice for Kayvon and Styron. And that fool had three kids, man. Three Yo, it boys. does make me wonder, though, if... I mean, it, it won't happen, and I'm glad it won't, but if black people did get reparations and, and, and a decent sum, like a lot of money, if it didn't ruin the economy, which I'm sure it would, it would Definitely. be funny to see how they how they spent it. That would be interesting. That I would be told very, you. You very the, interesting. Did you see the early part of the show? No, nah, I didn't. Okay, well, I'll go back and watch the beginning of the show. I, I don't feel like going over it again, but yeah, I, I explain yeah. what they would do. This is for Kayvon and Styron. Instead of celebrating Mother's Day, the family was reliving the tragedy again. And he always said me, I got you, Mom. I got you. And for them to take my last son from me, I don't even know what to do. The Ford family say they will not rest until they get justice. If you have any information on what happened here Saturday, please reach out to Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH. In South Memphis, Sierra Jordan, Fox 13 News.